Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to everybody. Just wanted to show you where I'm at with this uh, fender on this 46 Dodge. So I, uh, I don't have the support in yet where I'm holding it with my finger. I only have the rod connected to this side of the fender but not over to the cab. And you can see where I cut it all along here. And I have some uh, pieces of quarter inch wood in here. It's a, it's a little slight bit off. And then this area here I have to do some body work to get it to blend because it popped whenever I, uh, when I cut it. Apparently it had a bunch of stress in here and there's a low spot in here so it must have jumped up in the air so I'll have to bend that back. But in general the, the line's there and I'll show you what's underneath of it now. So you can see where I added this eighth inch piece of metal and there's a piece of quarter inch rod that's sort of flush with this. In fact I ended up having it off a little bit so I cut a little bit off of the rod. and. Uh, it's all lead work together onto the fender. And if you go over onto the, the other part of the fender, you can see here's the other rod. The lead work's actually up on this side. Now uh, you can see the lead work pretty good down here or over here. You can see it right there. So you can see that I leaded that whole entire rod in all the way up and around the whole entire fender. And so now when I lower it down on there, it should come close to fitting pretty good. I make all that noise once I'm trying to trim it. So that's about the only thing. I'm going to have to support this a little bit better to hold it out. Then there'll be, uh, there'll be welting in here, just like there's welting up around this area. But that's the gist of it. A lot more work to go. That's it. This is the bottom part of the fender and you can see where all the lead work is and uh, how the wire form was leaded in and how the uh, quarter inch rod and the eighth inch plate were all well or leaded onto there. And I tack welded all that stuff before I did it so that way it's uh, you know it's double duty. It's got the weld and the lead and also this is fully leaded onto here so it's fully connected and I, I tinned this surface and the inside of that surface before I stuck them together so it's mostly full of lead so there shouldn't be any place for rust. I just got to sandblast this a little better and make sure I get all the flux off of it. That's it.